What's up YouTube? Today we bring you guys some cursed Thomas the Tank engine videos and I didn't upload yesterday because I've been having these massive headaches. I believe it's because of like the background lights like they be so bright sometimes they're blinding so that might be the case but today I'm feeling a little bit better. I have mild headaches but I I'm good to go man. Alright so we're gonna be reacting to this Thomas the Hellish abomination so let's jump right into it. Oh! Oh, it's that weird looking Thomas, man. He looks like a centipede. I think it's so freaky. Oh, I lied. Dude, these Thomas the Train pictures, Thomas the Tank Engine pictures be like a cursed. You dare oppose me, mortal. Why was I born a train? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, um, that's like a dog, Thomas. What is up with these pictures? Oh, all right, that one looks a little demonic, bro. Oh. That's just a little creepy. Okay, that is just so weird. <laughs> what am I watching, man? <laughs> Alright, I smell fear, Top uh, Top Ham. Kill me. Oh, okay, this is very disturbing. It's like real life action. Oh, that was like a mech. That one looks pretty dope. You're too late, uh, conductor. I hunger for more. Alright. The heck is that? Like a giant Thomas the Train? <laughs> Alright, we really we saw this mech one. <gasps> oh, monster truck! Oh my! Uh, what? What's up, Thomas? All right, is <laughs> man? All these are cursed. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's Gmon. That's Gmon, Thomas. Not even the children will be spared. You guys better get to running, man. What? Nicholas Cage Thomas? Oh, that one looks creepy. Oh, that's the Resident Evil uh, mod. Alright, well, we just been cursed. For our second video, we're gonna react to Thomas the Tank Engine, but you will slowly sink deeper into hell. Alright. See how this goes. It's just moving in, zooming into his face. Bro, Thomas does not blink. <laughs> Come on, is he gonna do something? The music is lit though. Kind of worried, man. Nothing's going on. All right, it just seems in more to his face. Let's go to the next one. Okay, now we got an even closer image of Thomas. He looks 100% creepy. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this one, man. All right, it just keeps zooming into his face. See what else we got here. We got another one right here. Oh, the music like slowed down. Oh, no trespassing. Bro, that is Thomas IRL. He got left behind and now he's a dumb. He's a total mess. See, that's what happens when Thomas drinks so much milk, son. <laughs> Stay off the milk, Thomas. <laughs> He's all rusted. <laughs> oh man. Kinda does look like a face doll. Oh man, alright. Let's see the let's see the next one. Wait, is that is that it? I think that's it. It just keeps getting Ooh! Bro, you guys see that? You have like red eyes now. Alright. 
Oh, you, oh, I see the red eyes coming. <laughs> he kind of doesn't have had, like teeth. You guys see that? And why does the music slow down more, man? It's just creepy. Thomas, you good? I think there's something wrong with Thomas, guys. <laughs> the thing went from 0 to 100 real quick, man. Oh, it just vanished. Oh, alright, uh... I assume that is the end of the video, all right? So our next clip is just titled Tom of the Tank Engine. 419. This is short 420. <laughs> this is more like a babe. <laughs> hey, that's the creepy Thomas we just saw at the end of that video before he turned evil and he got red eyes on us. All right, and we do have one more clip. It's just named Thomas and let's check it out. Oh. It's like a clay animation. It's like he's made out of clay. Oh, oh it looks like poop, bro. <laughs> Yo, Tom is on Ectis mode, man. What the? He just turned into like a spider. I don't know how I feel about this. This is so weird. Oh no, he just got bigger. <laughs> what is that, dude? <laughs> oh, let's watch this one. I guess they make like a face of Thomas. Alright. Alright, it's like a time lapse, I believe. All right, so there's the head, the eyes, it looks like he's doing pretty good. All right, he molds it into like a head, and then he covers it. He makes it. Oh, here comes Thomas. <laughs> oh my god, that is so creepy, yo. <laughs> oh, he even had the siren at one. Dude, these are awesome. All right, but it's not Thomas related no more, man. All right, you guys. Well, those were some cursed Thomas the Tank Engine EXE videos, as you guys can see. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And I'll see you on the next one. What's this? Please be some. Oh, yes. Hand and ammo, thank God. Oh, no! Thomas! You're finally here! Oh my God, okay, so, you gotta shoot this guy in the face. What's up, everybody? So it's Mikey from Realistic Gaming. As a few of you guys know, you know, like, I'm, I'm gonna be doing videos, like, when Junior's not here. And Junior's not here today. So I was like, you know what? I guess I gotta step into the, to the big man chair. Yeah. <laughs> so today, I've been wanting to do this on Realistic Gaming for a long time and it's play mods. And since Thomas the Train has been hot, you know, on the channel, we're gonna play some Thomas the Train mods in Resident Evil 3. So let me show you guys what I got in store. Like I learned how to play mods just so we could play this game right here. So here we go, let me, let me just show y'all. Resident Evil 3, right? But, who is Thomas the Train? I learned how to install mods just to play this and now that we have this hopefully we can play some other crazy mods So let's go Resident Evil 3 start game. So I think that one of the first bosses in the levels um, I forgot the boss's name, but it's gonna be Thomas the train instead of the main boss. So let's see how this goes I don't know how to play, but we're gonna figure it out. We're we gonna figure it out today. Oh Here we go Hey captain Hey captain this fine young lady could use our help. I'm the fine young lady, I think. <laughs> Carlos, 
You didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? My name's Michelle. She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Obviously. Her right. name is something Valentine. It's Jill. It's literally something. Nice it's something Jill, Jill Valentine. Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Victor. Right, this is boring. Let's get My this team body, huh? alive is more than I can manage. Oh, you Sorry can for you, buddy. Oh, you saw somebody in the background just hiding? Yes. He's like, well, we are going doing on all we What's can. Going on? If we can get this subway train moving, we subway can train, Thomas the Tank train, but we whatever need his name is. <laughs> My men cannot do this alone. All right, that's what you got me, baby girl. Let's go. Oh. All right. She's in. I'm in. I'm in. Let's go. Let's run it. But I am on their side, not yours. Whoa, hey. attitude. Cool. We all want the same thing. Yeah, come on, man. Thank you, Joe. Oh, no, no, copy. All right, super cop. Here you go. Use this. Use this stay to stay in contact. contact. All right, let's go. I know what a radio is. <laughs> Yo, I got a little attitude, low key. First things first. All right, what's this? We need to get you geared up. All right, get me geared up. Head up the street level. You'll find supplies there. All right, let's go. Let's run it. All right. All right, so hopefully Thomas is in here because I, I don't see any signs of Thomas yet. All right, how do you run? All right, let's see. Okay. Ooh, let's go. I'm low key excited. Let's go. Okay, how do I run? Oh, what was that? Oh, oh, oh. Alright. Sure. I didn't read it. Let's go. So I was going the wrong way earlier, but now we on our way. We on our way where we're supposed to go. Oh! Jill? It's me again. You topside yet? Working on it. Uh, almost there, almost so there. So what's the plan? I got lost. The tanks got me clearing the tracks. You might get in the subway infrastructure back online. And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. All right, let's, let's do go. this fast. Let's run it. Reactivate power at the substation. All right, so let's go this way. What's over there? Oh! What's going on here? Oh, what's that? Uh-oh. It's a big old head over there. Where's the train moving? Oh, that's the homie. What's up, bro? Oh, I gotta kill him? Oh, oh, oh. Gonna go here. All right, let's just let's pretend we know what we're doing. Oh, look at all that ketchup on the, on the wall. What was this? Oh, handgun ammo. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. I need that. I need that. Oh, I hear something. What's that noise? Ugh, sounds nasty. Oh, yo, yo, what the heck? Yo, you better back up, little homie. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, reload. Wait, can I hit them with something? Oh my god, no, I can't. Ah, get off me! Get off me! How dare you! Touch me without my permission! No, get away! Oh, what is this? <laughs> what is this? This popped up on my screen. How dare you! Get away from me! I didn't give you permission to touch me. Guys, these days, jeez. All right. Do, 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 do. Quick step? What? You will not be able to use online function? I don't care about that. Why is it telling me this? All right. Yeah, next time I need to bring control for this because. All right, let's go. Let's go this way. Uh oh. What's going on here? Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. All right, so I gotta go. through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Why are they trying to make me go through the fire the already, like man? Come on. Put out a few flames. Oh. Oh, these guys. Come on, man. I'm just trying to fight Thomas the Train, man. You over here got me fighting zombies. <sighs> Alright, you know what? Let's just kill him then. Ba, ba, ba. Get out of here, bro! With your ketchup on your face. Oh, oh my god, I don't have any more bullets, am I? 
How am I supposed to do this? No! No! Get a word for me, you curve! So let's go this way. Go around them because I'm hurt right now. I'm hurting. I'll take that. Now I need bullets though. What's up with the bullets? Oh my gosh. No! How am I supposed to? Too many times. Finally, jeez. All right, let's let's go in here. Oh yes, what is this handgun ammo? Let's go. Thank God. All right. He's down there. All right. I don't want to go down there, so let's go over here. I gotta keep running away from these guys because I don't got that much ammo. Go over here, chasing your boy. Uh oh. Oh my god, what is this? No! No! Get away from me, you dirty perv! Alright, you know what? Go this way. Oh my gosh. Uh, 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 yeah, die. That's what you get. Can I go in here? Alright, let's just go this way. Oh, no, not another one. No. Can't waste my bullets on you. Damn. One more. All right, all right, we gotta reload real quick. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's oh. right. You better move. Oh, 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 oh. This must be the subway company's office. <laughs> that scared me. All right, let's go. What's this? All right, perfect. Yeah, sure. Let's go. What's this? Huh. Nothing. Oh. Great. Now I gotta go back out there. This guy's gonna be right here. Let's go. Just, just get away from me, man. Oh, a fire hose? Okay. Oh, yeah, that's what I needed. Okay, okay. I feel like we're moving somewhere now. Alright, let's go this way. Okay, I think I know where to go now. Let's go. Dodge them. Okay, let's go this way. What's here? Uh oh, that's not good. Oh, let's go this way real quick. All right, cool, cool. What's here? Oh, gunpowder. All right, all right. What's this? Please be some. Oh yes. Handgun ammo. Thank God. Oh <laughs> no! Stop it! We're finally here. Oh my god, okay, so, gotta shoot this guy in the face! Oh my gosh, oh my god, no! Get away from me, Thomas! Get away, Thomas! No! Go! Oh my gosh! How am I supposed to kill this guy? Am I even doing damage right now? Thomas, chill, bro! Look, man, let's talk about this! Oh! No! Oh, what, he killed me already? All right. All right, so. Aim assist is enabled. Yes. Yes, please help me. <laughs> All right, so. We finally found Thomas. This dude 
How are we supposed to kill him? He's huge. He's super OP too. He scared the crap out of me. Oh. Oh. All right, go. Come to school down, baby. You can get me, bro. No, 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 no. no. Uh oh, uh oh, 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 yo, he just smacked the crap out of me, bro. How am I supposed to? No. What is this? Shotgun in here? What's this? Greener? What is the green herbs gonna help me right now with? <laughs> I don't wanna know. Oh, what's this? Bolt cutters? Okay. We could cut some bolts now. I guess. Oh, yo, I didn't know I had this gun. What, what did you tell me? Look at the gun. I just pulled that out of nowhere. Let's go. I think I'm scared of you, bro. Oh. Alright, I got this. this gun right here. Let's go. shot and trying to be Thomas because this guy is super OP right now. Alright, let's go. Do I got my other gun? Gee, my secret gun. Let's go. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to kill that one guy first. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> wrong way. Alright, first I'm going to try to kill that guy because that guy was, was tripping right now. Damn right there. That guy? The guy with the big head? I'm going to kill him first. Alright, he's dead. Alright, you know what? Alright, that's gonna be it for today. I'm gonna try to beat it next time. I'm gonna tell Junior to see if he can beat it because he's way better at games than I am. But that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you guys want to follow our other channels that I have or or that I'm in, you guys can follow Pixel Game Squad or Boole Heroes. I'll leave the links below. But other than that, Junior will be back tomorrow. He'll be doing like a Roblox video or something. But that's it for today. Take care. See you guys later. Peace.
What's up YouTube, Realistic Gaming here, and today we are back with some more scary Curse Thomas the Train videos. And also, happy Friday by the way, I hope you all have a great weekend, and remember to stay safe out there. So for our first video, we got Curse Thomas the Tank Engine images with Minecraft cave sounds at low pitch. Oh, that's not even a train, it's a dog. <laughs> what is he doing? Looks like he's covered in blood. Oh, what? That's not even Thomas the Tank Engine anymore. That was creepy. <laughs> Dude, the face. The f what? He has Thomas's face. That was weird. Oh, Spider Thomas. Imagine they had these in Minecraft in the caves. I would totally be scared to play Minecraft. Oh, what's wrong with you, man? Yo, Thomas ain't looking good. Oh, this is very terrifying. <laughs> Dude, what is this, man? <laughs> okay, I'll go Thomas. Oh. That looks like Georgie. But it's supposed to be like Thomas. Oh, uh, what? What was that? <laughs> what? Dude, that's not even Thomas anymore. What is going on? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that looks terrifying. Oh. Don't stare into his eyes, guys. He's gonna take your soul. Look away! Do not stare into his eyes. Oh, man. Oh, what is going on here? They look very sad. Um, okay. Seems like a cartoon mash up with Thomas. I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. This one's pretty freaking terrifying. Dude, what's wrong with you, Thomas? Boy needs some milk. Oh, oh, I remember this one. We saw this one in our last video. <laughs> what? Dude, what is that? It's so weird. <laughs> and the music just makes it creepier. Alright, well, we are officially cursed. <gasps> For our second clip, we got Creepy Thomas the Tank Engine upgraded with sound design. Hey, well, oh, it's the Mech Thomas. Dude, I would want to see this thing in action. Oh. Sorry, Thomas. It wasn't me, man. Bro, he was about to light us up. That is one masterpiece. Just imagine that thing in battle. Oh man. Alright, so for our next clip, we got the dark history of Thomas the Tank Engine. Alright, well that was totally something else. I don't know. With Thomas, he turned into like this centipede looking thing, man. That's gonna scar me for life. Alright, so we got Thomas the XC. Uh, that's the title and let's get right into it. Oh, this is like a live one. Oh, we hear the music. <laughs> is there someone there? Uh oh. Uh oh, he sees him. <gasps> Yo, Thomas is creeping. A hey, la mal. <laughs> Gotta go fast. <laughs> they got pretty creative here, huh? All right, this guy's scared. Feels like Thomas is following him. Oh, he is following him. <laughs> Dude, run! Why is he not running, man? Oh, he's getting chased! <laughs> what? 
<laughs> you guys saw Thomas there? Oh my god. There's a lot of cursed Thomas images. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if I should feel scared or what. This job jump scare overload. Oh, and he's dead. <laughs> oh man, I wonder what the actual movie was. It looked like a quite interesting movie. So next we got another one named exactly Thomas CXE. Wow, the titles don't seem to change. Oh, seems like we got that corrupted. Music in the background. Hey. Seems kinda lit. Okay, so is this like the video? It is, man. Yo, he looking kinda creepy. <laughs> why are you so mad, Thomas? Alright, I don't know why Thomas is so angry. Man needs a chill pill. And we got another Thomas EXE. It's it's uh, not scary. So let's see. Yeah, that was totally not scary. For our final clip, we got another Thomas CXE video. Oh man. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Dude, you guys see Thomas doing donuts? <laughs> Alright, you guys, well, those were some Thomas cursed videos. If you guys made it to the end of the video, make sure to drop a comment. And if you do, I will be picking a comment and I will be giving you guys a shout out. So make sure to, if you guys want a shout out, make sure to drop a comment, smash like, and I will see you on the next one. Yeah. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Realistic Gaming here and welcome back to another video. And today we are back with our Thomas the Train vibes. Oh my God. You know how Thomas be, he be wilding out sometimes and we're gonna be playing this game called Thomas Rages. I'll tell you so. I did find it on Game Jolt. I'm not too sure what it's about, so let's go ahead and read the description on it real quick so we can get an idea. Alright, so it says this is more of a short movie rather than a game. If you like the lowest quality blood, you'll love this game. You're Thomas the Engine, he gets mad when he finds out he's going to be put out of service permanently. <laughs> You then now mow down the workers and face fat controller. That's it, I guess. LOL, enjoy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of description is that? All right, so we we got an idea of what this game, what this game, or so-called little short film. I'm pretty sure it's a game, but it's about um, it says that Thomas is about to be put out of service, and it seems like he's not too fond of it. And you know Thomas be doing some unreasonable things that make him seem like he's a total maniac. All right, so let's begin. Thomas, what's going on? <laughs> Fat controller, I'm sorry Thomas, but we are putting you out of service for good. Oh, this is not good, man. What? You've been doing a terrible job lately, and I cannot afford any sloppiness. Oh, man, he's going... He's throwing a lot of shade at Thomas right now, but... Come on, you can't put Thomas out of service. I am not sloppy. Oh, my God, he's mad now. Okay, say what you want. That won't pick your years of slacking up. All right, so fat controller is really going in right now, man. Oh, no. Ah, shut it. Look on the bright side. Oh, no. Oh, wait. There is no bright side. Ha, ha, ha. So long, Thomas. Dude, back controller has no chill, man. He's always a savage. Oh, Thomas is angry right now. Oh, Thomas. He's about to go rage mode. I will kill everyone. Everyone. I'll show you sloppiness. <laughs> oh. Oh. We got the loud distorted Thomas tank engine music. <laughs> All right, so instead of oh, okay, we're moving. Oh, okay, so we actually control Thomas to run over the people. <laughs> oh my God, Thomas, stop it, man! Don't do this. Well, actually, I could stop if I want. You see, like I just stopped. Okay, no, come back here. You're not escaping my wrath. Oh man, he just uh, just keeps on going, <laughs> bro. <laughs> so bloody how much more can Thomas get covered in blood oh man all right so it's like a loop you just keep running people over and over hey but I like the music though all right let's keep on going oh my god stop the violence Thomas this is too much for me man <laughs> oh oh wait what if we go backwards okay no we disappeared 
Oh, fat controller. You mother trucker. Hey, Thomas, buddy. Hey, <laughs> hey. Why don't we work things out, eh? Oh, so now fat controller seeing what Thomas just done. He killed everybody in his way. And now he's afraid for his life. Because if you kill me, there won't be anyone that will maintain and improve the railroads. They will be left to rot. Oh, he does have a point there. So what will it be, Thomas? Oh. What are we gonna do, Thomas? I'm sorry. Good boy. I knew I could trust. For stalling your death, you fat controller. <laughs> oh. Thomas had no remorse. And now he's happy at the end of what? <laughs> oh my god, bro. What did we just win? What did we just witness? Congrats, you have wasted your time. That really how you're gonna thank me for playing your game, man? <laughs> Alright, well, that seems like that was the end of the game. It was fairly short. Yeah, I know. What a bummer. But it is what it is. Alright, you guys. Well, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and hit that notification bell on. And I will see you all in the next one. Alright, you asked for it and you got it. What is up you guys, Realistic Gaming here. Today we're going to be reacting to some more Thomas the Train videos because you guys seemingly like to uh, love these videos as the numbers don't lie on the screen. Pretty insane, right? Now we could get this video to like 2,000 likes. That would be awesome. And also I want to address one thing. You guys keep saying that I'd be scared watching these videos. That's cat, boy. I did not get scared watching these. Whoa. Now you guys might have some question what Shed17 is as myself do. So I went ahead and asked my big brain friend, Google some questions, and it says what is Shed17? It says uh, Shed17 is one of the engine maintenance sheds at Sorter Research. It is the location which gives the Shed17 duology its name. Right, so that's pretty interesting. And let's go see, well, um, it says, what happened to Thomas in Shed 17? It says, after Thomas was hit by a train, he was taken to Shed 17 where many multiple clones of him were made until Wilhelm and Hans uh, got one right. Most of the other clones were scattered all over the shed with one of them that was still alive was kept in an enormous tank at the end of the shed. All right, that sounds pretty freaky, man. And also, if you guys know any backstories about this, drop some knowledge in the comments. I would totally appreciate it. And for those that don't know anything about this. Alright, so grab some snacks, kick back and relax. And let's enjoy the show. Oh yeah, one more thing. Shout out to Paul's Vids for the awesome video. Alright, here we go. Um, why is it loading? Why did... Oh. Yo, that's pretty brilliant. It's his intro. I thought it was like loading or something. <laughs> Right, Paul's vids. Oh man. Solder Island. Oh, so this is where the maintenance shack is uh located at. Oh look, we got Thomas in the background. My boy cruising. Oh, Oh my god, what happened to the windmill? Did he crash into the windmill or something? Why is it knocked over? Oh, this is the present day, up to date. Alright, there goes Thomas on his route. Oh man. So it's showing the past how it used to be and the present how it looks now. It's all like dirty and beat up, man. What happened? Oh, it's all... Dude, it's all rusted. Oh, man. Seems like it used to be fairly uh, nice compared to now how it is. It's all broken down and rusted the stories out. stories that have charmed an entire generation. From the books to the television series, people around the world have grown up with the railway stories. And all their cheerful characters. Troublesome engines. But the truth behind Thomas and his friends was no children's fantasy. Let's the see what the truth is. Would be horrifying. Shed 17. Oh man. Yeah, that does not look like a place you would want to be. It is 1945. 
and the remote island of Sodor off the northwest coast of England has emerged from the fog of World War II, relatively oh. unscathed and untouched. What is it like, the uh... The of the detention camp for Germans living in England. That's how Professor came to be here. Professor Wilhelm Goethe was born in 1903 in Munich, Germany. In Germany? A doctor wow. in biology, he became a prominent advisor to the ruling party in the 30s. Oh. So this feels like we're watching a movie in history class or something. <laughs> In 1939, as war escalated, he, his wife Olga, and four-year-old son Hans fled the country. Thumbs. The world at war, 1973. Boy be looking like Benjamin Franklin. Am 14. Mai like 1942 was the That's what he wanted people to believe. The fact is, his experiments were hard to stomach even for his own people. In truth, he had become a prominent figure in the government. But as his work oh. progressed, questions and objections had been raised in the higher So he was really in there, the huh? His work with genetics and DNA was truly Lab assistant disorder research the LTD, Dr. Owen Ruth. Of the human genome. What Professor Goetze was most successful in, however, was keeping his history a secret until his death. In an attempt to gain favor That's among what you gotta the German do, man. Iraqi, you gotta Helm keep Goetze your was stuff the secret. Of the government's most fanatical policies. In 1938, he was influential in instigating the infamous Sajmelnacht, the Night of Sawdust. But, as his experiments advanced, he became a much less popular figure and soon oh, feared man. for his and his family's lives. As soon as he escaped to England, he was banged up here. The locals were nice to him, there was no hostility, and many of them chose to live here after the war. Following their release, oh, man. Professor Goethe, Olga, and young Hans chose to remain. After studying under his father, Hans left at the age of 18 and went at to university 18? on the mainland, studying biology Boy and engineering, out. writing several pioneering papers about genetics and the splicing of DNA with mechanical implants. Wow, these guys were really big brains, huh? The technique of manipulating genetic material to splice with what? mechanical attachments. Manipulating splice genetic material? Attachments. Dude, this guy However, is insane. Much like his father, the British government became more and more concerned with Hans Goetz's proposals. So he was forced to seek financial backing from home. It's so like he's an evil a genius or something. Quite a few bob, so Hans came back. He saw our little island as some sort of refuge where he could work in peace. Soon every nutcase and eccentric was coming over. By 1962, Hans had set up Sodor Research, a small Sodor lab near Research. the town of Arlesborough. But soon the enterprise began supplying medical equipment and machinery and quickly grew to become a large complex, comprising wow. its own links to the growing Sodor Railway. Dude, he started in that little no, no, building and look at this. The town was working there when Professor Hans took a liking to her. Soon they were married, and not long after, the town was buzzing with news of her pregnancy. Baby Aww. Thomas was born in 1960. Baby Thomas! Throughout the early years of his life, he would watch the growing railway network boy looking fresh. fascination. He couldn't get enough of trains. His dad bought him one of the first video cameras, and he'd be on the platforms every day. You can see me in some of those tapes. Hey, Mr. Hartley. Morning, Thomas. Hey. He was friends with everyone. Even that simple bloke who right, so it seemed like Thomas was well so known and he was, was liked by everyone. Were the old steam engines. Steam the engines steam were engines. the dying art on the British mainland, but Hans also had a So that's why he's a steam like engine train. And likes to keep them running for our purposes, taking orders from the labs to the growing docks, or to the mainland to be transferred to modern postal express trains. But as the Sodor rail system expanded, it oh, found wow. itself increasingly under the supervision Did look at of all the those new real British tracks. Rail Network and appointed a new controller. Oi! Get off my f***ing platform! Oh! Sir Topham Hat, born into money. Top man hat! Don't seem like he's too nice. started wearing a top hat all the time. Of course, the islanders had a different name for him. Fat b***ed. You've never met such a cold-hearted <laughs> as him. 
So Tom Hammond had me jam. Real employees shut down the branch line and the smaller stations. He was happy to let the railway rust away. Railway like control. Just the main line. But the fortunes of the railway were about to take a profitable turn. A stroke of luck for the island that would result from. Dude, his eyes are so freaky. Come on, we're gonna be late. What's the time? Thomas, get moving. Young Thomas loved following railway. He'd be out all the time, hoping to catch a new train on his camera. So Thomas was really yeah, obsessed with trains, huh? Soon. He won't wait for us. Unfortunately, he didn't take as much notice of the Beware safety of the signs. I'm not being late again. Have we missed oh. it yet? Dude, Wait back away, did not get too close to the tracks. It must be late again. Come on, come on. Dude, he's literally up. standing on the train tracks. Oh! Yo, Hans he just got mortified. hit. He disappeared from public view. God said family tragedy. Lapsed. Locking himself in, he wouldn't allow anyone in there. Eventually, Whoa. his father, Wilhelm, came to see him. In a few days, a major laboratory had been locked down, followed by an engineer. That must be shed seventeen. There you which go. Was to become off limits to all. All production was shut down. Orders weren't met, but the two Professor Goetzers didn't care. More and more equipment was being delivered daily, but no one was allowed in shed seventeen. Because he was trying to get Questions Thomas being asked to be a train, so well. right? Where were the Goetzers? Would there be no funeral for young Thomas? And where was the body? So this is like the origin Thomas of Thomas, right? If I'm not mistaken. Hospital. He'd been taken to the complex, but was never moved by rail. We all assume the obvious. He was still in the lab. But if Thomas was there, was he still alive? And what was the purpose of keeping him at the complex? Oh man, many questions. We will see. The doors of Sodor research were reopened. In an open invitation to <gasps> the people of the island, Yo, that is so Thomas freaky. Out of Shed 17. That is legit Thomas on the train now. It took me a moment to realize oh, what it was I was looking at. Bro! He and said, Hi, Mr. Hartley. It dawned on me he even talks like Thomas himself as a human being. One woman yeah, I would be Thomas terrified. Smile, that was. I had to run off around the side of the shed. I Dude, I this like is insane. <laughs> as news spread across the country, the world's media rushed got to a, uh, got to experiment revealed. They kept trying to interview I mean, he, me. he wanted to save his son, right? He did it was he did it one way or another. On Sodor Island. Questions asked about science ethics. It's fair to say I was pretty nervous at times. I'm joined now by Keith Hartley. But I think I put on a brave Sodor face. Island. Oh, what man. What do you think when you first came to meet Thomas the Tank Engine? <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine? Oh, dude, he threw up. <gasps> yeah, I would be totally freaked out. The human being was turned into a train. Most of my mates said I looked pretty good on telly. The mayor said I'd represented the people of Sodor very oh. well. Oh, man. It's important to show you're confident when people are asking you awkward questions. Yeah, you gotta be straight up, man. Good evening. An act of mercy or a crime against humanity. I'm <laughs> crime against humanity. Even when some of the questions got Did difficult, I made so sure I knew what I was happened. talking about. What was your reaction when you first met a talking tank engine? <laughs> oh. If Why is everybody throwing up around opinion, here? Or if you can't string together two words on telly, well... Maybe you shouldn't be on there. Does it say good morning? Admittedly, the subject matter was a bit bizarre sometimes. There are some dark forces at work here. <laughs> there goes the door. You were alright, as long as you could win over the audience. The is, they're laughing at you. They're not laughing with you. Oh. <laughs> what? The Gertz of family refused is you to ill or something? any questions. Oh. Behind closed doors, the only question they agreed to answer. So that might be his way to get around the question. Just throw up. Thomas work on the railway. The response was an emphatic no. Thomas's DNA had been reprogrammed to accept and adapt to the engine structure, 
using the engine's internal system to maintain his organic functions. You're like what Frankenstein, no man. Was how much of the engine was mechanical and how much was organic material? Thomas oh, had been able to so he had like actual coaches, organs in there. To work on the railway, his engine would need to be fired up and operated by a driver and fireman. Since no one could be sure how much of the engine was oh Thomas, my God. the pressure caused by the engine could rupture his organs from the inside, and the incredible heat could boil him alive. That does Professor not look pleasant. And his father vowed Thomas would never work on the railways. Similarly, the two professors were to refuse many requests by people from around the world who wished to be biofused into engines. What? They were billionaires offering to pay whatever they wanted to be converted course, into an engine man. or some other <laughs> transport. People with money Trains wanted to be turned into to. a train. And people with terminal illnesses were desperate to be made into trains. But for some reason, this is a the freak experiment, refused. man. But there would be other interested parties eager to seize on the biofusion gold mine. The independently wealthy Topham Hat staged a hostile takeover uh -oh. and within weeks had bought a controlling share in Sodor Research. Oh. Immediately, the policy of the company changed, and so did the ethics. The medical supply wing was shut down, and work began on mass biofusion experiments and Oh, that's operations. not good. Anyone who could afford it, some handing over their whole fortunes, were turned into engines. You gotta be some type of freak. But Along with the new policy, there would be worse to come. Biofused engines would be allowed, then obliged to work on the railways. The first one we fired up was Why James. would you want to be a working train? He didn't have the money some of these people had, and so agreed to basically sign his life away if they wanted to experiment further, or to take massive risks like this. Crazy, man. As usual, the fat f had everything recorded. All kept classified, you understand? These recordings, shown for the first time, reveal the extent of Sir Topham Hatt's experiments. It was horrible watching these engines work on the railways some days. But the tourists wanted to see it. They expected it. Oh and for man. Me, it was work. Oh, but it's overheating. With the new engines increasing work schedule came more and more accidents. It's Edward so weird, man. Problems. He'd been filming all day for the new TV series they'd announced. And for his last scene, Deleted he had to footage. pull into Wellsworth Station and whistle to the kids on the platform. Peep, peep. Whistled Edward, thank you very much. Oh! Who oh, what? This was only the first in an increasing number of incidents. <laughs> Why did he shoot out blood? Had an with aircraft and appears to become a helicopter. The operation had gone well. But we had to ban him from being allowed to So he moved from flight. trains to An helicopters? experiment kept secret until now. Mavis the diesel engine was to be the first biofused oh. locomotive used on the railway. We fueled her up and everything seemed fine. Then things got out of hand. Oh. The diesel began to burn her internal organs. Everything oh my God, that's how painful. was soon burning. Oh, it's on fire! We heard a locomotive scream in pain. Oh my, oh, that thing just burst to flames. Water. But by then it was too late. Maybe his body Rip. Be kept oh my god, look at the face. In an unexpected U-turn, Sir Topham Hatch would ban fueled engines from being used on the island. Oh man, so no fuel engines. Why he couldn't fly, but the decision would keep him alive, if only Harold. for a little while longer. In fact, unknown to the outside world, there had been many failed biofusion experiments. That of course, man, there's always the trial and error. Secret. And legal disclaimers had to be signed by anyone being biofused. So there'd be no legal action taken if anything went wrong. This footage shows engines being displayed to tourists during the off season. That is so many weird. Of these engines were failed biofusion experiments and were too ill to work. A birdie? Or were already dead. They had to put a stop to that though. Percy? Oh! With all accidents happening, people Yo. started asking the same thing. Why did Thomas, the first engine, work so well? Why did he work so well? The troubles the other engines had. I mean, Thomas because his father fine, did create himself. Seemingly oblivious to the other engines' problems and accidents. Keeping their problems a secret from the outside world, Sodor Research began selling the technology to other countries oh, no. in multi-million pound deals. 
This is These not countries good. countries will have less qualms about the use of fuel engines and even the modern electric trains. Even failed biofused engines were being displayed publicly in what would become a kind of freak show. Oh my god, no one has two horror, faces. Professor Hans Goetze saw what even this was Thomas is to. freaked out. Slavery of engines. Dude, they're like playing tug of war. Resigned. His father, Reconstruction. Wilhelm, would go one step further. Oh no. Let's see what he had. What he's up to now. Seems like he's reminiscing or something. Oh. What is that, a train? Oh, that's a gun. Oh. Yo. Oh, uh oh. No, don't do it, man. Oh my gosh. Professor Wilhelm couldn't come to terms with what was happening to his engines and took the only It was too much for him to handle. That fat f got a load of us rail staff over to his house to clean up after the body was taken away. You should have seen it. Sawdust everywhere. It took us days. But such attempts to keep the incidents on Sodor a secret were short lived after a very public accident. Wow. Jordan paid an enormous amount to be Sodor's first 462 configuration engine. Much bigger than any other engine at the time. We were terrified Great, a bigger that engine. That fight would make us fire up that huge engine. We were shocked to discover he had insisted on being able to work on the railway. So, one night after the regular staff had finished for the day, Fat some of the rail staff and I fired uh -oh. up the engine. As usual, these experiments were filmed. This footage has never been broadcast before. Dr. Ruth and I filmed it all. I want to see the footage, it man. Might be a bit shaky. It was handheld. Oh, he has it. At first, Gordon complained about the heat. Then that turned to please. To oh, man, that does look like a lot of steam coming out. It held us back. He wanted to see what would happen. He argued he had put a lot of work into Gordon. Of course he does, he doesn't care. He just wants the money. An opportunity. He was oh, he's in pain. The inside. By the time we were allowed to act, Yo, he's like left. compressing. Because of- Oh! He couldn't take it, man. I wasn't as near to him as some of them. He just blew his engine out. All I out. could do was run. I was lucky to get away with some singed clothes. Others weren't so lucky. The fateful few hours following the accident would seal the fate of Sodor research. Oh no. The fat oh, that's good, man. To put out the fire, insisting that any evidence would fall back on us. He kept repeating, This was all your fault. You knew the dangers. You're legally to blame. He blame the man. For ambulances or the fire brigade. We told him, These are injured people here. They're going to die unless we do something. But he kept saying, no one from the outside can come in. Wow. No one can see this. Finally, someone suggested we airlift them to hospital. Harold was banned from flying for his own safety, but we thought the risk was worth it. Uh-oh. Fueling Harold was a nervous experience. Uh -oh. Would he have the same reaction Mavis had? We all breathed a sigh of relief and loaded the injured people aboard. Then it all went wrong. Oh no, I knew it. That was not a good idea. Oh my god, he's spilling blood out. Harold's engine had worked fine, but what wow. no one realized was most of Harold's lower extremities were permanently fused to his propeller system. As Harold's rotor blades began to spin, Vital organs oh, would be drawn into the motor and tear him apart from the inside. Well, Poor Harold. there was no covering it up. The smoke could be seen all morning. 
but new Of course, man, there was a, two explosions. We were told to close gates and start clearing up the mess ourselves, with some help. Henry Thierry was the only 420 gauge engine on the island. A large engine that had been working on the railway regularly, he had become popular among He's gonna die too, I know it. Locals. Henry was called into the yard to help tidy the mess. Working mostly at night, he would cart away the wreckage on the cover of darkness. We had to work quickly and quietly, and he would cart wreckage from the yard away to the sea. Oh, then he night, would dump everything on the wrong, ocean. And we were diverted to another shed. Henry had inadvertently shed been 17? sent to shed number 17, Ooh. where Thomas had been biofused into a tank engine and had oh. subsequently been declared out So now it's Tom is the tank engine, it was ladies dark, and gentlemen. The sheds all looked the same. I unlocked the doors and Henry rolled in. I didn't see what Henry saw, because as soon as he put his head through doors, he bolted oh. and reversed out. Dude, I want to see. Come Keith on. Keith locked the shed up without seeing what was inside. But Henry had seen it all. We wouldn't even dare talk about that shed. More than our job's worth. But Henry had decided Come to Come on, we need to see what's in that shed. Sir Topham Hatt. That night, he arrived at the railway controller's office. I don't know what was said in there. <laughs> He's in the yard. There voices at times. <laughs> they had a shouting match for ten minutes. Then Henry left. Back to the shed. By pure chance, he was sent back to the same shed as Thomas that night. And with one sentence, he sealed both their fates. Oh, Henry what did he do? One thing to him. Stay away from Shed 17. The next Shed day, 17. The fat had a new job for him. Okay, so Thomas is still Thomas. My bad. The Flying Keeper route ran through the night. So the next the in a uh, Flying Killer? Across the highest altitude line in the country. That old line was treacherous at best. But when Henry was put on there, in the middle of winter, it was a death trap. In 1970, fish were being delivered by road to the mainland. It was safer and more cost effective, and the line was declared redundant. Dangerous and unnecessary, it came as a shock to the islanders when it was reopened. That fat shite always hated Henry. He didn't like his cheerful manner. Oh, and he man. He had other uh, lifestyle choices when he was a human. Seems like it's a setup, man. He did not like him to begin engines. with. And Kipper Run was a death sentence. On the night of February the 8th, 1983, Henry had only been on the Kipper I told you guys he was going to die. The following incident would be made into a book and later recreated oh, in a derailed. series. This is the train the railwaymen call the Flying Kipper. The Flying Kipper. Can you believe they put it in a kid's story? Of course, that fat f*** could change quite a few of their facts. Of course, man, he's evil. The main line to a siding were frozen, and the home signal should have been set at danger, but snow had forced it down. As the train approached the most oh, part of the line, unnoticed to Henry, his driver and fireman, the points had diverted them to the adjoining siding, and right into the path of another train. Wow. Those look like fuel tanks. Yep. Big explosion coming. Dude. That was a setup, bro. That had to be a setup. I mean, obviously it was. Had jumped clear before the crash. Oh, so he managed to jump out. Alan Barry died from their injuries. Oh, that is Slowly so messed up, bro. In snow. The he got buried by the snow out there. By midday, the recovery operation was underway. And Sir Top oh, poor arrived. Henry. Cheer up, Henry. It wasn't your fault. Ice and snow caused Of course it wasn't his fault. You set him up. You set him These up, Batman. from a train spotter's camera were taken the evening before and were successfully covered I up knew it. by the Sodor Railway Board for 10 years. There was a railway spike in points blocking them. Wow. Of course, that had disappeared by the time we got there. I'm sending you to this crew man is so evil and fat. Crew. Crew. We all knew what that meant. Alright, uh, this can be good They'll for Henry. You a new shape and a larger firebox. Crew was at the time. You know they're gonna One kill him off here. Scrap metal yards in the UK capable of handling and recycling. Just look at this place. Looks like a dump. As well as engine parts. 
you'll feel a different engine and won't need special coal anymore. With those few words, he'd sentence Henry to death. Won't that be nice? That sucks. Yes, Henry sir. can't fight Said for Henry his life, man. Thankfully. He's all Everyone messed up. We won't see him again. And everything was sewn up nice and neat for that fat f Yeah. Oh no, Henry. As news got out about Henry's accident, it didn't take long for Thomas to realize Henry had been disposed of because of what he knew. The next oh no, evening, Thomas. What are you up to, been Thomas? Thomas on his own for the night at Knapford Station. As his driver and fireman left, under what was left of his own steam, he set off for the Sodor Research Complex. He's gonna go to Shed 17. He had a small amount of burning fuel in his firebox, but he was mostly moving under his own strength. It took Thomas three hours to get to the complex. Three hours? The efforts to get there nearly killing him. Oh, poor Thomas. Thomas arrived at midnight. He had to do what he had to no do to get there. He made his way to the shed where he Get all that created. steam. What he found was the answers to his questions, and many others. Since Sodar research had become producing biofuels oh, vehicles, we're about to see what's inside of Shed 17. Why had the first biofusion operation worked so well? But nearly every operation since had failed. Sadly, Thomas found the reasons inside. Oh, oh here goes nothing, the truth behind all of this. Come on, Thomas, show us. Thomas had never been the first operation. He hadn't even He's been He's never been second. the first? Or second? What shed number 17 contained. Thomas Experiment 3? Of several attempts to create Oh, but that's a skull engine, with terrain with Thomas's wheels. DNA. These had been early tests made by people with no experience of an experiment what? on this scale. <gasps> so it was a trial and error before they actually made Thomas. Prepared. Train. These procedures had used DNA from the human Thomas, and had been as much the real Thomas this as is some the tank freak experiment. The world had come to know and love. To us, Thomas the tank engine had been the Thomas we all knew as a boy. Part of the family the whole island's population had known and respected. That is so creepy. Since Wilhelm first arrived. In actuality, this tank engine was no more the real Thomas than all the failed creations made over the 12 months before. Oh man, I wonder how many of them. This Thomas had all the human Thomas's memories and experiences. He had learned what Thomas had learned. What? Known who Thomas had known. He was one with the but train. So had all the previous failures. Wilhelm and Hans Goetze had had to learn through trial and error how to course, bring man. Thomas back from the dead. The following experiments had oh. not had the same work put into them, resulting in the freak engines and aircraft that had developed so many All those problems lives on lost. Sodor Island and around the world. In Shed 17, Thomas wouldn't discover who he was, but in fact, who he wasn't. Who he wasn't? Come on, Thomas. Dude, there's a skull in there. What? It's a skull with a train head? Oh. Oh. Dude, his spine and everything's in there. Oh my god, what is going on? Yo, okay, this is... Out of hand now. Oh my god, Thomas? Yeah, I don't think I can look at Thomas the train the same anymore, guys. No. 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 How is he still alive? Oh, he's gonna break out of there. Dude, his face just blew off. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, he's a freak! He had no idea he was only one of many clones. None of us did. But I guess it's time He was a clone! Passed. We stopped asking all the questions we had at first. We were just glad our friend was back with us. He could work for us. He became our servant in a way. Someone who drew in the crowds. Oh my god. Jobs. Was eager to work. Thomas always I'm like Thomas was before he was actually this. Sadly, over time we came to think of him as just really useful. That's messed up. They just used my boy. Dude, you're gonna blow up. You don't stop. Wow, in uh, 1983, a government inquiry was launched into the events of, on Soder Island and the labs of Soder Research. Biofusion was banned the following year. Yeah, I would not blame Biofusion being banned. Uh, compulsory work biofuse engines was finally banned after the wind scale nuclear flash test of July. Dude, was that. He just crashed into that. Sir Tomman that had disappeared without trace, his whereabouts were never discovered. He would now be one of a hundred and a hundred and two years old. This man's a mummy in real life. Thomas the tank engine reminds the specialist uh, unit where he has currently undergone twenty uh, three reconstructive operations. Biofusion was later banned in Europe, although biofuse engines are still required to work. Sadly, in China, biofusion is still compulsory for all political prisoners. Queen Biofusion train Oh, that's messed up, man. He isn't trained alone. Yeah. Oh my god. Starring Abby Al. Oh man, dude, this was insane. <laughs> oh man, so this was like Next the week, origin of Cockleshell Thomas. Bay. In the aftermath of the Mr. Ship inquiry, we ask how much did ITV know? And where next for Robin and Rosie? Oh, oh, f***ing oh man, of Cockleshell Bay. All right, well, that was pretty insane. We we got the whole backstory of how Thomas became an actual trade on his whereabouts and all the clones in Shed 17. I wonder how many trial and errors there must have been before they actually perfected a, for the Thomas clone to be itself and working and functioning. And it was pretty freaky that he shared, like, the same memories and all that stuff from the previous actual human flesh Thomas before he had his incident. Yeah, man, I have no words for this. All right, you guys. Well, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap the like button. And if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on and hit all notifications. And I will see you all in the next one. Ah!